What's up guys, Grizzly Wizard here, welcome back to the channel, coming back for another first time movie reaction. Uh, this time we're doing Alien from 1979, uh, one of the most definitive and classic horror movies that I can think of. Shout out to Nerd Chronic for editing this reaction for me and sneaking it past the Hulu blockade, or, you know, I actually don't know who holds the copyright to this movie, whatever. Right off the bat, as a huge fan of 70s sci-fi, I'm sure you're thinking, why the hell haven't you seen Alien? <laughs> well... Um, to put it this way, at this point I am many horror movies deep into this marathon, and you may have noticed by now, they make me kind of jumpy, right? So I've avoided this movie specifically because I know it's scary as fuck. Ironically enough, I'm a huge fan of H.R. Geiger, and I have a couple of art books full of his art, and several of them are just full of alien concept art. So I'm very, very familiar with the look and feel of this movie. But I don't actually know the story. I don't actually know how it goes. I never sat down and watched it. Because, you know, as much as I love 70s sci-fi, my, um, my fear of getting the daylights terrified out of me <laughs> has kind of, like, outweighed it. So I've always kind of avoided this movie. I guess I was saving it for a rainy day. I don't know. But we're in the middle of Spooktober. I can't think of a better time than now. So for the very first time, I'm going to be watching Alien from 1979. Let's go. Harry Dean Stanton's in this? No way. And John Hurt, fuck yeah. Ian Holm, Bilbo Baggins. This movie's got everyone. Having seen a couple 70s classics at this point and being pretty well versed in 70s sci-fi, it's like the whole the whole genre, the whole decade really took their time with the films. Like this is such a slow meditative opening and because you kind of know what you're in for, already the dread is starting to increase. Oh, that's a fantastic model. Commercial towing vehicle, the Nostromo. Crew of seven, refinery processing 20 million tons of mineral ore. Returning to Earth. Nice, okay, returning after a job well done. God, look at the Greebles. It's such a cool model. This is what I love about 70s sci-fi and 80s sci-fi. Is that moving back there? Is that an alien already? No, it's just a little bobblehead. <laughs> False alarm. Oh. Nice, they're showing us that emergency helmet. Someone's gonna wear it by the end of the movie. Are they, like, in sealed pods? Oh, it's stasis. It's suspended animation. That makes way more sense. Yeah, if they're on a really long deep space journey, and there's only a crew of seven, the whole ship must be autonomous. And they're not supposed to wake up until they get closer to Earth. What up, John Hurt? Not exactly the angle I was... Hoping to greet you at, but <laughs> here we are. Oh, you look dead. Anybody ever tell you you look dead? <laughs> I love it. They're just smoking inside a spaceship right now. That's a great shot. There have been, there have been multiple shots so far where it starts off with like a just cavernous room and then it pans over to a person. They're really trying to show you just how massive the ship is and how much space there is. For these seven people, it must feel, like, enormous. Although, you know, I take that back. It said it was a towing vessel. It was towing that massive refinery. The whole refinery isn't the ship. It's like a, it's like a tugboat situation, I think. Morning, Mother. Mother. Mother's the onboard computer. It's like, Hal. Where's Earth? You should know. It's not our system. It's gone. Do they get woken up early? I found it. Just short of slated too reticuli. We did reach the outer rim yet. Calling Antarctica so how are we doing out here? They seem pretty calm about it, though, so clearly they have enough fuel to course correct, maybe? They're not freaking out. Mother's interrupted the course of our journey. Why? Why? Yeah. The AI decided to do it? Seems she has... Intercepted a transmission of unknown origin. She got us up to check it out. A transmission? Out here? Like a distress signal? SOS. I don't know. Human? Unknown. It's not my contract to do this kind of duty. And what about the money? If you want to give me some money to do, I'd be happy to... Have humans come into contact with aliens ever? Do they, th do they still think they're alone in the universe? Any systematized transmission indicating a possible intelligent origin must be investigated. I don't want to hear it. We don't know that it's intelligent. Got it. Okay. So they have standing orders to investigate for intelligence whenever it may pop up. Beautiful. 
God, there's something there's something about the artistry of like models flying into matte paintings that just isn't really matched by the CGI of today. Disengage. Oh, awesome! It's like a massive tow hitch. I appreciate that this came out two years after Star Wars, and Ridley Scott has so far resisted the urge to do that flyover top shot, Star Destroyer style. All right, initial damping's going off. All on people is going to be a little bump. Make sure all your trays are in the upright position. Imagine having to navigate by that, like, rough wireframe rendering. <laughs> yes. Like a glove, you see that? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, yikes, okay. Super severe weather conditions on the planet, too. There's in a nitrogen high concentration of carbon dioxide crystals, methane, I'm working on the trace elements. So they're able to scan like the mineral composition of the planet, but they couldn't like scan for life forms in the area or anything like that. Nice. Look at that. I like how cumbersome those spacesuits look too. Everything about the movie has been designed to feel uncomfortable, you know? Like you wouldn't want to hang out on this ship. Can't see a goddamn thing. Quit griping. I like griping. <laughs> Knock it off. Yeah, it's got to be so disorienting. Can't see more than like a foot in front of your own face. It's so eerily quiet. Oh, amazing. The crashed alien ship. I've seen that in the art book. Another matter to see it brought to life, though. That's so cool. That's an amazing shot. So this is humans' first proof positive of intelligent extraterrestrial life, right? Look at that. Everything about the design is so, like, atypical. It's so non-human. We have to go on. Will you say that again? I mean, seriously, though, I think if I was in that position, you're like, if you're out here in the frontiers of space, you're probably at least a little scientifically inclined, and you see that ship, yeah, there'd be no turning back. You've got to check it out, right? It's really fucking creepy, though. <laughs> the way it's just sitting there, totally, like, destitute. God, look at this. What I love about the design of this ship is how it feels so organic and yet mechanical at the same time. Like you could be looking at inner mechanical workings or like the interior of a, of a growing being. Like they could be bones, you know? What is it? What does he see? Much larger room. Whoa. Is that a body? It's huge! He's like at a control station. He's like sitting in a in like a control yoke. Wow. Looks like he's been dead a long time. Fossilized. That's insane. Oh, looks like it's grown out of the chair. Yeah, exactly. I'd actually seen that image in concept art before, but I had no idea that it was an actual body. I thought it was just like a skeleton motif in a piece of machinery. Which kind of goes back to what I was saying about organic and mechanical fused together. What the oh, hell? Like he exploded from inside. Yikes. I think I know where this is going. Let's get the hell out of here. Yes. I think that's very sensible at this juncture. Take a bunch of pictures, take your scanner readings or whatever, and get the fuck back to the ship. It looks like the face has like a like a tube coming off of it. Is that part of the biology or is that like a like an oxygen mask kind of deal? That transmission. Mother's deciphered part of it. It doesn't look like an SOS. Well, what is it then? Well, I it looks like a warning. 
I mean, by the, the time it takes to get there, you'll they'll know if it's a warning or not, yes? I mean, that's kind of callous. They'll know if it's a warning or not, because what, they'll run into danger? Oh, claustrophobia time. What are you lowering yourself into? You okay down there? Oh, okay. Looks like that's the that's the floor, then it's a largish room. Well, I don't know, but it's like the goddamn tropics in here. Warm? freezing outside the planet. There have been so many wide shots with tiny people in them so far. And the smallness of mankind really shows like the size of the mysteries and the dangers that we don't know about. Leathery objects like eggs or something. Oh god. Oh god, it's an incubation chamber. That's why it's really hot. There's a, a layer of mist just covering the eggs that reacts when broken. Oh, what the, oh, careful, dude. Okay, I just slipped. Yeah, you're way too close to those things for comfort, man. God, the surface is, like, moving a little bit. It's like interacting with the mist, maybe? Oh, God. There's a living, moving thing in there. Seems to have life. Organic life. The hell is that? Can't really get a good look at it. Back up, dude. Back up. Don't, no, don't do it! No! Oh, fuck! Oh, it's like a spider with a tail. Or well, it's probably like the umbil umbilical cord. Because it's... Uh, well, you don't have an umbilical cord if you come out of an egg. What the fuck? I have no idea what I just looked at. <laughs> okay, so they skipped right over them retrieving him from down there. I imagine that was a whole ordeal. We're clean. Let us in. What happened to Kane? Something has attached itself to him. We have to get him to the infirmary right away. Open the hatch. Wait a minute. If we let it in, the ship could be infected. You know the quarantine procedures. Seriously. Could you open the goddamn hatch? We have to get him inside. No. Don't do it. I can't do that. Hey, play this in order. You hear me? Yes. I read you. The answer is negative. Damn. It's like she's seen a horror movie before. In a hatch open. God damn it, Ash. What the fuck? So far, he hasn't done a single helpful thing. God, it went through the helmet. It's like stuck on his face. Is he even alive? My God. Oh, God. Finger. Now try and get his finger off. Just a minute. It's, crazy. it's actively alive. It's going to respond to that. Oh, no, 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 it's strangling him. How come they don't freeze him? How come you guys don't freeze him? Freeze him in what? Presumably take him back to Earth? And infect the whole fucking planet? Come on. <laughs> What's it got down his throat? I would suggest it's feeding him. Could that be what that weird tube thing was on the skull? Could it be the vestiges of one of these things? Because the aliens clearly put out the warning because they found these other aliens. We don't know anything about it. it. Now, we're assuming it's feeding him oxygen. If we remove it, could kill him. I really don't trust Ash. He's acting like a man of science, but he's borderline sociopathic in his pursuits for understanding here. Like, saving this man should be the priority until we know for a fact we can't save him. Then do your studying, you know? Do your science. Oh! Oh, God! Highly corrosive blood. That, thing's gonna eat the goddamn hall. Come on. that was a really cool effect, though. I wonder how they achieved that. Like, revealing the floorboard underneath with all the wiring. Jesus. Next deck. You know, it kind of... That kind of resembled, like, the weird solution that was on the outside of the eggs. The way it was dripping in reverse. Could some blood have come in contact with the eggs before they discovered them? Jesus Christ, it's going right through the hole! Get under it, don't get under it. 
It's gonna go all the way to fucking space. <laughs> Don't get any on your arm. Yikes. It's like acid blood. It's got a wonderful defense mechanism. You don't dare kill it. You gotta find a way to kill it without blood loss. Poison, maybe. A little talk. How's, uh, how's Kane? He's holding, no changes. She's gonna chew his ass out for letting them on the board, violating quarantine procedure. It's a funny habit of shedding his cells and replacing them with polarized silicon, which gives him a prolonged resistance to adverse environmental conditions. Interesting. So it can survive in crazy conditions. Ash, when Dallas and Kane are off the ship, I'm senior officer. Huh? Look, what would you have done with Kane? Hmm? I would have sent you out there to the airlock and you would have examined him on that side of the door. That's what I would have done. Maybe I've jeopardized the rest of us, but it was a risk I was willing to take. It's a pretty big risk for a science officer. Yeah, seriously, dude, you seem pretty unfit for your post if you can't make hard calls like that. You do your job. Let me do mine. Yes. I like that they've added so much interpersonal tension on the ship so that even in scenes where there isn't like danger or aliens, you still feel tense. You know? There's still something heightening your anxiety. Oh, it's gone! Where the fuck is it? That's the worst. That's the fucking worst. It's like when you see a spider and then you turn your head and you look and it's not there anymore. Because now it could be anywhere. This is so uncomfortable. It's going to jump out from somewhere. Is it in that little trash can over there? That egg it came out of me. <laughs> Come on. Kane? Oh, God! Fuck no! Fuck no! You okay? Is it dead? That's fine. That's a reflex action. You sure? Jesus Christ. What a horrifying alien design. I love it, but I hate it. <laughs> Seems dead enough. Well, good. Let's get rid of it. Seriously, get it off the ship. This thing bled acid. Who knows what it's going to do when it's dead? Seriously. I think it's safe to assume it isn't. Its decomposition cycle could destroy the ship. You don't know what it's going to do. How come I gotta change my mind? All right, the decision's been made. I'm not trying to change your mind, Dallas. I just want you to listen. Will you listen to? Me? I like how the roles are reversed, though. At first, it was her trying to adhere to protocol, not letting them in because of the quarantine, and now the protocol is to bring the dead specimen back to Earth, and she's trying to convince them to ignore the protocol. Did you ever ship out with Ash before? I went out five times with another science officer. They replaced him two days before we left Thetis with Ash. I don't trust him. Yeah, I don't trust him either. I don't trust anybody. So Ash isn't even their longtime science officer. He just got replaced last second. Oh, there's the shot. I take it back. Ridley Scott couldn't resist. <laughs> you kind of have to do that shot if you're using a motion control rig. It's the law, you know. <laughs> He's up. <laughs> Trying to get a bunch of fluids down. There's no way that he's just fine after that. It crawled onto his face, stayed there for like a day or two, and then got off of him and died. The first thing that I'm going to do when I get back is to get some decent food. Yeah, and he's really hungry now. It laid fucking eggs in him. Oh, God, it was like impregnating him. And that's why the alien on the planet exploded too, because... Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't want to talk about what it's made of. I'm eating this. Oh, he ate too fast. Look at that. What's wrong? He's not choking, guys. Yeah, this is the big scene. This is the scene. God, on the table where all the food is. You should have quarantined him straight away. He's gonna explode. He's gonna explode. Ah! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! 
And there it is. Oh, oh no. Don't touch, oh. don't touch it. Don't touch it. Ash, what the fuck, dude? Kill that thing. <laughs> Holy shit, it's fast. Ash, you just killed us all. Why would you stop him from killing it? I mean, who knows if he even could have killed it, but still. Oh, oh, God. Oh, and the ship is so big, it could be hiding anywhere. Inner head sealed. Dump in his body. Wow. Creepy. I mean, they can't, in good conscience, just go back into suspended animation knowing that thing is loose on the ship. Like, they have to deal with this first. And I've designed this tracking device. You just set it to search for a moving object. Hasn't got much of a range, but when you get within a certain distance, it'll start to give off a signal. Oh. Catch it, put it in the airlock. Get rid of it. Now, channels are open and all down. I mean, that's the best plan that I've heard. Just airlock that thing as soon as you can. That's a gorgeous shot. I love how they're playing with lighting in this movie. Oh, that was cool. Ooh, the air vents. It's in the air vents. Bet you. Oh, I don't like this. No! <laughs> Damn it, now the cat's gonna get eaten. Should have kept the cat safe too. Now we might pick it up on the track again. That's true. I'll, I'll, I'll go, go and get it. Oh, he's not coming back. Don't separate. Jones. Jonesy? Jones is a great name for a cat. Get Jonesy. I don't think that's Jonesy, man. Ah! Run, kitty, run! The cat wasn't running from you, dude. Oh, it shed its skin. This is an awesome set. It's very creepy right now, though. I feel like that's not clean water, dude. Spaceship water? That's like a step below Pirates of the Caribbean water. Oh, God! It's so much bigger! Jonesy saw the whole thing happen. I like that the cat was able to evade the alien, though, because also a predator, right? It's using the end to move around. Damn. There's not much they can do about the air ducts. They can't block them or they won't have air circulating. This air shaft may work to our advantage here. It leads up to and comes out in the main airlock. Oh, so you can try and flush them out from the air shaft. Yes, well, it's adapted remarkably well to our atmosphere considering its nutritional requirements the only thing we don't know about is temperature okay what about temperature what happens if we change it let's try it fair yeah parker can you rig uh, three or four incinerator units get some flamethrowers going you and ash take the main airlock parker lambert you cover up that maintenance opening place it's got to be so tough and stressful to have to make this to be in a position of decision making in a situation like this where other people's lives are counting on what, how you choose to respond to a situation. Dallas is kind of fumbling it. He's doing the best he can, though, you know? Unable to compute. Available data insufficient. This is an unprecedented situation. We can't tell you how to proceed, basically. Okay, so Ash has the scanner. Wow, that's a tight duct. This is a really great shot, too. I like how prolonged so many of these shots are. They really give you a chance to sort of sit there and, and drink it in and 
get worried. <laughs> oh, man. If we lose the captain next, it's going to start falling apart because he was the only one really unifying everyone with, like, making decisions, and everyone sort of had to fall in line. Dallas, hold it a minute. I mean, I, I think I got it. Yes, I've got it. Where? It's approaching your position, dude. Is he just firing blindly down there? Dallas? You're gonna have to hold your position for a minute. I... I've lost the signal. What? You sure? Did it go around him? Is it now above him? I might, I might play around, but I want to get the hell out of here. Oh, fuck, it's back! Uh... Get your flamethrower ready, dude! Oh, fuck! Dallas? God damn it! No. Uh, they got me twice. <laughs> you found this lane there. No blood. No Dallas. It picked him up and carried him off somewhere. To, like, feed on them later, maybe? Maybe to impregnate them, too? Well, let's talk about killing it. We know it's Stop. using the air shafts. Will you listen to me, Parker? Shut up! Let's hear it. God, it's so tense. We'll move in pairs. We'll go step by step and cut off every bulkhead and every vent until we have it cornered, and then we'll blow it the fuck out into space. Is that acceptable to you? How are our weapons? The weapons are fine. This one needs refueling. Ash, go with him. No, no, I can manage Ash. You. Don't go alone. She just said stick in pairs, man. Any suggestions from you or mother? No, we're still collating. Man, you've been collating this whole fucking movie. What would you like me to do? Just what you've been doing, Ash. Nothing. I've got access to mother now, and I'll get my own answers. Thank you. What the hell is going on with Ash? Like, I was already suspicious of him, but when we found out from Dallas that he was a last-second replacement of the, of the normal science officer, it's fishy. And his reactions to the alien life have all been very, like, weird. And I can't tell if he, like, had advanced knowledge of this somehow. I can't... I don't know. Something's up with him. All right, mother. You're gonna give us some answers. No, see, you gotta do the capture first. You gotta select all the street corners that don't have mailboxes, etc. Science officer eyes only? Look at her. She's so frustrated she could cry right now. Crew expendable? Are you fucking kidding? Whoa! Hey, where did he come from? For this, you know. They're rude. I want to pay your help. No explanation. You fucking sociopath. He's just going along with this. Like, he's about to be a bigger obstacle to her survival than the alien itself. Because he's going to do everything he can to stop her from killing it. Are you serious, dude? You open the door? What is that? Ah! Whoa! What the fuck? Oh! Ooh. What is all that shit dripping down his head? Oh God, he's gonna like strangle her, isn't he? Oh, he's gonna try and break her windpipe with a rolled-up magazine? That's psycho shit, dude! What are you doing? Oh, he's just gonna suffocate her, okay. Still psycho shit! Oh my god, Parker, stop him! Why is he so fucking strong? There's no way Ian Holm is this strong! What the f- Ooh, that got him. What? Is he having a seizure? Oh, 
Whoa! Whoa! He's a fucking mandroid! Did any of them know about this? It's a robot. Ash is a goddamn robot. What the fuck? God. Parker, you're a hero, dude. And that weird white stuff is like his... Not really blood, but like fluid. His robot fluid. Jesus Christ, this is such an upsetting... Oh my God! <laughs> ah! I wasn't expecting some body horror in this for some reason. I knew this felt like some sort of a weird conspiracy, but now the question is, why the fuck did people already know about these aliens? And how did they know that Nostromo was going to encounter it so as to put him on the ship as a last second replacement? Like, that level of engine of, like, contriving this is very troubling. Amazing. I'm gonna try and reactivate his head, get some answers. Ash! That's so creepy. What was your special order? Bring back life form. Priority one. All other priorities rescinded. There's a damn company. How do we kill it, Ash? There's gotta be a way of killing it. How? How do we do it? You can't. They don't know, and that's why they wanted it so badly, so they could figure that out for themselves. Perfect organism. It's structural perfection is matched only by its hostility. And all clouded by conscience, remorse, or delusions of morality. Why did I know that would appeal to you, Ash? <laughs> this is wild. I had no idea that this twist was going to happen. You have my sympathies. God, that smile is chilling. God. Might as well. Might as well. When we throw the switches, how long before the ship goes? Ten minutes. No bullshit. We ain't out of here in ten minutes. We won't need no rocket to fly through space. Okay, so they're gonna set the self-destruct and then just hightail it to the shuttle? I'll get the shuttle ready. I'll give you back. About seven minutes. Don't split up. All three of you get the coolant, and then all three of you go together to get the shuttle ready. Safety in numbers. Beautiful shot. I can't get enough of this model, man. It's so good. Oh, nice. And the shuttle is ready. That's a cool little design, too. Oh, good. She's able to monitor them while they're down there. Fuck! You gotta go find your cat and rescue your cat! Jones? God, Sigourney Weaver looks fantastic in that jumpsuit. Jones. Come on, Jones, don't make this difficult. Sometimes when I try to bring Murder Paws in for the night, she makes a game of it and, like, tries to run and hide from me in the dark. I hate it. <laughs> Jones. Jones. Oh! <laughs> Whew, well, at least it was actually the cat. Jones. I'm damn it. It's okay, just keep it together, Ripley. You can fall apart as soon as you're back on the shuttle. frozen in fear she can't move for fuck's sake Parker just reposition and fire oh tail whip Parker you heroic bastard you should have just run oh it's crazy how the mouth like comes out like that it's like it's like that one deep sea crab that like punches it Punches things to open them. Oh, God. That scream sent a chill through my body. I think she's officially the last one left. It's just down to you now. Well, and Jones. No, I think she needs to go get whatever coolant they were... Down there to grab. Just go, just go, just go! Fuck! 
And as the only other living thing left, you're exactly what the alien's coming for. He can, like, smell you, sense you, however he's doing it. He's on his way. Oh, whew. That was the hatch she was releasing. They did that on purpose. <laughs> Cutoff system will not operate after five minutes. That's fucked. So you only have five minutes to change your mind, and then five minutes to regret it, and then you explode. <laughs> God, poor Ripley. She's doing everything she possibly can to, you know, retain her professional training and, and do what she needs to do in the scenario and not completely just go to pieces. It's gonna be right between her and the shuttle, isn't it? The option to override automatic detonation expires in three minutes. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh my god, the strobing light really ups the intensity. Oh my god, now you gotta duke it out with this thing and you've only got five minutes! Tell me it's not about to eat the cat. Kinda looked like he was vibing with the cat a little bit. Deactivate it quickly! Mother! I've turned the cooling unit back on! Mother doesn't care. Mother's vindictive as fuck because you killed the science officer robot. <laughs> fuck you, mother. <laughs> See, we've known since 1979 that AIs have nothing helpful to offer. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we go. Last time. I can't believe she had to lose all that time going back and trying to disable it. Fuck! An incredible shot, by the way. The strobing, the fire, the rotating light, the steam. It's fantastic. They really assault your senses, so you feel what she feels, you know? Whoo! See? The alien was like, I'm not gonna eat you. Told you they were vibing. Like, at this point, I would just fucking sprint and be like, if I get eaten, I get eaten, and if I make it, I make it, you know? One minute to ship. Holy shit. She's so close. She's so close. But the science guy, Ash, was talking about how it can ex survive in extreme conditions. Does that include outer space? T minus 30 seconds. You gotta clear the blast radius. Come on. <sighs> oh my god. She made it out. 20 that was a great composite. Wow. And it's a massive explosion because who knows what kind of explosive materials were inside the, the refinery, which gets triggered when the Nostromo blows up. There it is. There's the secondary explosion. Oh, jeez! Alright, that's going to be the refined substances exploding. That was cool. I appreciate how colorful it was. Holy shit! You made it out! And the cat survived, which I'm so happy about. I feel like he survived the explosion, though. That's how we get a sequel. The nightmare's over. And she still has ten months to get to Earth. I don't think there's a suspended animation pod on the shuttle, so she actually has a ten-month trip in this fucking thing. Oh, good. There is a suspended animation pod here. Well, thank fuck for that. Wait. Wait, no. No, if the cat's growling and hissing, that means, that means the fucking alien's on board! There's no time to take your pants off. There's danger afoot. The fucking cat was trying to warn you, girl. God damn it! God fucking damn it! Get the flamethrower! I see an axe in the wall. Is she gonna have to fight it with that axe? God, the sound design and lack thereof has been incredible in this. 
Oh my god, yes. Just gonna get in the spacesuit. And what? Just like depressurize the the shuttle? I think it can survive in space. I really do. <sighs> okay. Wait, what about Jones? I'm pretty sure his cat carrier isn't hermetically sealed. Let's fucking go. She's like, I've come this far after everything that's happened. Whatever you're doing is not working. Is he stuck? Is that why he hasn't lunged forward yet? Oh no, here he comes. Here he comes. God, she's so terrified. God, do it now! No! Oh! Fuck, he's holding on! Yes! Fuck yes! Oh shit, and he can- he can breathe in space, damn it! He's just getting right back inside, no! Fuck yeah, burn him with the engines. There he goes. <sighs> Jesus. Unless he's got little thrusters built into his exoskeleton, I'm pretty sure he's done for now. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Oh my god. God, <laughs> fuck. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Man. Signing off. Hey, Jones survived too. What a hell of an ordeal, though. Pack and suspended animation. I wonder if she's having peaceful dreams. Or if they're fraught with the nightmares of what she just endured. Wow. Wow. This was fantastic, actually. I really, really enjoyed this. And I'm really glad that I finally filled in this blank in my, in my not just my horror education, but my sci-fi education, too. This is such a fundamental film. I really didn't expect that... One of the biggest dangers in this wasn't an alien at all, but a member of the crew. And I really thought that was cool how they worked in a second angle of, of fear that the company they all work for is like in a conspiracy to, to claim one of these extraterrestrials, knew it was there, sent them to go get it, and like wrote them off as expendable, knowing they probably wouldn't survive. Like that is super creepy just like as a concept on its own. Concept artist Ron Cobb, fuck yes. Love Ron Cobb. This had some thoroughly upsetting moments in it. When the when the face the face alien was on Kane and then it was just gone and they were searching the room to find him and then it, oh god and it fell on her. I'm gonna be thinking about that for a while. I'm gonna be like checking my ceilings for the next couple weeks. <laughs> Fantastic. I really liked um well first of all, seeing Bilbo Baggins play a sociopathic android was everything. But hearing Ash describe the alien as a perfect organism and like expressing like an admiration for it in a way, I think really was the big tip off that should have let us know that he kind of knew about this ahead of time. Yeah, this this was fantastic. This was fantastic. I'm sure that there's a lot of little nods and foreshadowing and moments in this that I missed. And please tell me in the comments both what you think about this movie and also like what like fi fill in anything that I seem to have be misinformed about here because I'm sure I came to all sorts of all sorts of weird conclusions. I do that. <laughs> Um, this was fantastic. I know, of course, that Alien is a huge franchise and there's multiple movies in the series. So I'll be back with Alien 2, or Aliens, I think it's called, pretty soon here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my first time reaction to Alien. Yeah, I'm going to be thinking about this one for a long time. Some absolutely exquisite sci-fi filmmaking going on. The miniatures, the motion control rigs, the matte paintings. Like, it was, it was fantastic. 
This came out in in the final year of the, of the decade of the 70s, and I really feel like this is a culmination of all of the innovations and concepts and like the filmmaking techniques that were developed within that time period. Like everything is showcased here, and it was done so effectively too. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Really enjoyed this one. Stay tuned for more horror movie reactions coming soon. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!